order to wirelessly connect your PT-878 to your computer, you will need an infrared USB adapter. Some infrared USB adapters include driver software that you need to install prior to connecting your computer with the PT-878. After you have installed the driver software for the USB infrared adapter, plug the adapter into any available USB port on your computer. Press the menu button on the keypad. You will see the menu bar at the top of the display screen. Use the right arrow key to navigate over and highlight the meter option and press the enter button on the keypad. This will bring up a new window with multiple options. Use the down arrow key to scroll down and highlight the communications option and press the enter button on the keypad. There are two COM interface options, IRDA and IR232. If you are using an infrared USB adapter, choose the IRDA option. If you are using an RS-232 infrared adapter, choose the IR-232 option. If you do use the IR-232 option, you will need to set the baud rate, parity, stop bits, and data bits in order for communication between your computer and the PT-878 to be successful. For this example, we will use the IRDA option. If that option is not already selected, use the arrow keys to highlight the IRDA option and press the enter button on the keypad to set the value. Press the F3 button on the keypad which corresponds to the OK selection on the bottom right of the display screen. To achieve the best wireless signal connection for transferring files, place the PT-878 infrared communications window as close as you can to the infrared window on the USB adapter. Make sure the infrared windows are level with one another and lined up as straight as possible. To confirm that the PT-878 can transfer files and detects the infrared adapter on your computer, you will see an icon of two arrows pointing opposite directions in a small box at the bottom of the display screen. You are now ready to transfer files between your PT-878 and your computer.